First at 5 o'clock, it is official. Operation Strong Safety is officially underway tonight. The Texas National Guard confirmed earlier today troops deployed to the border last week, and more are headed that way in the coming days. KXA's Lindsey Bramson has the details from Camp Swift in Bastrop. We now know a little more than 300 troops are currently down at the border, all of them trained here at Camp Swift. Today, Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst spent time at Camp Swift talking to a group of troops who volunteered to head down to the border. He shook hands with each one, thanking them for their service. Also here, Major General John Nichols, who says the next round of troops from the National Guard will head to the Rio Grande Valley sometime in the next three to four days, but wouldn't say how many. He does say these troops have been training for the past 30 days, and while for some it's unfamiliar territory, they're ready to help secure the border. The lieutenant governor says it's unclear how long the guard will be at the border. As soon as we show that this works, over a sustained period of time, we need to put the pressure on the federal government to, to come in, step in, and replace the National Guard, replace our DPS, because we're having to pull them out of their regular jobs around the state. Coming up at 6, we'll show you why it took the full 30 days since Governor Perry made the announcement for the first round of troops to be sent to the border. Reporting from Camp Swift, Lindsey Bramson, KXAN News. And those troops deployed as part of Operation Strong Safety, they joined their colleagues already on the border as part of the state's Joint Counter Drug Task Force. Earlier this month, several dozen soldiers moved into the Rio Grande Valley to man observation towers there along the border. The National Guard members will report any suspicious activity they see to local law enforcement agencies and to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Thank Governor Rick Perry says Thank the troops are there. essential for our security. Last Thursday, he told a group at the Heritage Foundation that terrorist groups, including ISIS, could be using the border crisis to sneak operatives into the U.S. Governor Perry says Congress needs to step up and devote more resources towards securing the border.